Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have some weekly wows. Um, I have some cosmetics, a little bit of skincare, some hair care, and then as always, like a what I'm watching type of wow. <laughs> so anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is a product that was sent to me for uh, review purposes through Optoly, and this is from the brand Avon. I mean, how cool is that, that there is um, a website that creators can go on to and be able to apply for and hopefully get selected to receive a product from such an iconic brand. I mean, Avon has been around for ever, forever and ever. Anyway, they had this on here and it really, really intrigued me um, because as you know, I have, I have hooded eyes and I have a lot of baggage under my eyes. Um, I've tried all kinds of things. Uh, some of it's hereditary, a lot of it's hereditary allergies. Anyway, so I wanted to give this a try because it, it's a two part system. There's a gel um, formula that's for the lid and then there's a cream formula that's for under the eye. So let me show you the packaging and um, the link for this will be in the description box and you can get this from Avon or through that description or that link in the description box which will take you to the Octoly website is where um, that link will take you. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, did I tell you the price? It's $28, but you know, Avon does a lot of good sales a lot of times. So here it is. It is a two part. This is the gel and this is a um, lifting type product that you put onto the eyelid. And then here's the cream that goes underneath. And this has um, caffeine in it. That's supposed to be really good for depuffing and for hydrating. Now we'll tell you out of the two sections here, there's one that has just really, really blown me away, I guess. Because normally I wouldn't put a product that I've only had for such a short time. I've been um, using it for about three weeks now. In a, a, a favorite video or a wow video, I would just put it into like a PR haul or whatever type of video I told um, Avon Octoly that I was going to do, which was going to be just a, um, in a PR or a haul video. I didn't tell them I was going to put it in a favorites video because, you know, I didn't know if it would be a favorite. But this little gel right here, oh my stars, if you have hooded eyes like I do, I do, I have hooded eyes, I like to put this on and it just takes a little bit, dab it onto my eyelid, let it dry. After it's dried, I mean, you can feel the lifting effect. And the reason why I like to put it on in the morning, you can use this AM or PM. Um, I think they suggest using it both. But I really like using this gel stuff of the morning time right before I put my makeup on because once it dries and it's got that lifting effect onto the eyelid, it just helps when you have hooded eyes to really find that crease and really define the eye. I mean, you can tell, I mean, look, look how defined that crease is today. It's because this lifted my eye up so I could see it. <laughs> I wouldn't have to lift it up like this. I mean, it was, it was there. I'm telling you, it's magic. It has in it, um, injectable grade arginine, arginine gel, which is good for lifting. And then, like I said, it has the caffeine in this part here for the depuffing, and it will depuff. I do find sometimes with the um, with products that have caffeine in it, you're combating one problem, the depuffing, but then on the other hand, you're kind of creating or ex uh, making your dryness a little bit worse. Um, so I'm not too crazy about the cream part of it, but this gel part right here, I mean, I would buy this again, going to buy this again when this little gel part is gone just for, for that reason. But let me just show you the texture of the cream and the gel. I don't want to waste it, but I mean, it just takes a little bit of that gel to put onto the top of the eyelid. And I don't know... And maybe there is, but I don't know of any other product that is like this that is geared toward putting on the actual eyelid to help lift. And um, so 
so. And of course, you know, with continuous use, it's really supposed to show uh, maximum results. Um, after three weeks, you're not going to see a whole lot of results other than the temporary lifting. But I just really like it because it lifts it up to where I can actually get my makeup on, my shadows, and I think it looks really good. Um, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I have been just very much pleased. And this is the um, a new. Did I tell you exactly what it was? No, I didn't. I just got so excited about telling you what it did. That it's the Avon Anew Clinical Eye Lift Pro. And it's a dual eye system for double your... What does that say? Double eye system double? Huh? <laughs> Let me get my zoom system double. Oh, okay, the rest of it is in French. It's just a dual eye system pro. But like I said, you can get this from Avon. Um, there will be a link in the description box, or you could go and visit your Avon representative if you like. And I will also put an Avon representative's name in the description box that if you want to contact her, she will be more than glad to help you get one of those, I am sure. So, let's move on to some more eye products. And I have been pulling out and have been using for the last few weeks my um, Inglot eyeshadows. You know how it is on YouTube. Everything starts out, has this huge hype, this huge following. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody goes out and gets it. And then it moves on to the next thing. It's just constantly, constantly moving on, moving on to the next, to the next thing. And you get all this stuff and you're searching for the next best thing when in your drawer already is the best thing. And that is these ink lot. I mean, nobody talks about them anymore. I know when I first started doing YouTube and started watching YouTube, like four years ago, I think, five years ago, everybody and their mother was talking about, you know, ink lot eyeshadows and they are so good. First of all, the pan, you get a lot of product. You can build your own system. You're not locked into an eyeshadow palette that may have one or two colors in it that you know you're not going to use, but you buy it because you like all the other colors. With this, you pick the finish, you pick the colors, you create your own little um, eyeshadow palette. Um, they ran from six to ten dollars in price and you can order them off of the Inglot website. Um, you can go to the Inglot stores. I, when I purchased the majority of mine, I got them on a Vegas trip at an Inglot store and at a Macy's that was at, um, in Vegas. But I'm telling you, every time I pull these out, I'm just thinking, why do I use these more often? Because they are just so pretty. They blend, they last, they're not chalky, they're not powdery. You don't get the fallout with them and they just work really, really well. That's just some of the colors. The only thing, the only thing that I would change if Inklot was my company, what I would change would be the fact that um, they are only numbered. That's what these little numbers that I've written on my palette up here are. They don't actually have shade names. I think it would be better if you had shade names. It would just be easier to identify, but let me just show you that. I mean, look. I mean, I know you have seen Inglot in the past, but nobody's talking about them now. Everybody's talking about other stuff, but I'm telling you, oh, every time I pull these out, I'm just thinking, dang girl, why aren't you using those? Let me show you some of my other palettes, eyeshadows that I have created. Here's some of my matte neutrals that I have in this one. Um, then I have um, some cool tone um, metallics and shimmers. I mean, you can tell that I have been using them, that I use them, but like I said, you just get get sucked in to other stuff and then you just forget about your good stuff. I mean, that green, that green for fall. Oh, my stars, it's gonna be so pretty for fall. I love a, a good green eyeshadow. I have a really pretty green eyeliner on right now that I just got that I'm gonna be talking about in an upcoming video. 
but yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, look, jeez, they are so pretty. And they have, you know, they have different size little palettes that you can put them in. You don't have to get these little holders, but I'm telling you, these little, the little magnets in these thingies are super strong, super strong. Once you get them in there, you have to get a really strong magnet to hook onto here to pull them back out. They're really hard to get in and out, but they got the lid. You can stack these. If you get them like this size, you can stack them like that. Or they have a big size one like here, which I have, and I don't have this full. I may have to, and then there's those, those covers. I mean, oh, you just gotta love. I mean, look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna do a little swatch right there. That. Oh. Yeah, so if you got Inglot and you haven't used them in a while because you're like me, you're just getting all sucked into the being a, a hype beast, is that what they call it? I didn't know what that term meant. And I was reading, I was looking on Instagram and I seen a lot of people talking about this brand called Supreme. I guess it's a um, skateboard business that does skateboard skateboarding clothing it's geared toward skateboarders skaters and um they're going to come out with a lipstick that's got you know their brand on there which is supreme on this lipstick on the packaging and everything and uh, louis vuitton did a collaboration with them was it this summer or past summer anyway so everybody's you know talking about how expensive this lipstick's probably going to be they didn't give me prices but anyway there is like yeah all of the hype the hype beast are going to have to start learning to like makeup and i'm thinking what what are they talking about a hype beast what is that is that like a skater term i had no idea so i went i had to look it up and basically it's someone that keeps um purchasing all the stuff that's the the latest hype which I think a lot of us in the makeup world, we probably do that. I know I do. I know I'm guilty. I know I'm guilty of being a hype beast. Hmm. Anyway, I had to look that up this morning. So I learned something new today in my 49 years of life. A term I never heard of. Hype. Hype beast. So anyway, okay, let's get on with the, the favorites. <laughs> Um, a hair product. Shall we do the hair product? Yes, let's do, yeah, let's do the hair product. So this I had just hauled in a Nordstrom anniversary sale oh, back in July. Anyway, it's the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. Oh my stars, I am loving this for my hair. Now when I hauled it, I tried to take this and spray it because I thought this was like a mister. It's not. It's just a little squirt tight pump thingy. I just take a little bit, put on my hair, rub it in, rub it all through my hair, through my scalp, through my ends. I mean, I put it all over. My hair just loves and drinks in oil. It, it needs it. It's part of the nature of having curly hair is that your cuticle is more exposed than straight hair. So then it really makes everything look rough and um, dry. And it's just because of the way that the cuticle is exposed. But I have been really, really liking this. Now, it has in it rose, but it's not an overwhelming rose because it does have bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk in it also. Um, it's supposed to be color safe. I feel like it absorbs into my curls instantly. It doesn't leave a oily residue or... Um, make my curls flat or disorganized. I mean, so far my, my hair has been enjoying using this and how I use it is I don't shampoo and, and wash my hair every single day. I do it every couple days. And what I do in between those days, because when I wake up in the morning, I do not have beautiful morning hair. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's everywhere so the only way and I can't brush it out because if I brushed it out then my hair would be out to here 
I mean, it would be humongous. So I have to wet my hair. So on the days that I don't wash, I wet my hair and then I rinse it with just warm, tepid water for a couple minutes. I just rinse it really good and then I'll put my um, gel in. But before I do that rinsing, I will put that oil in and I will like brush my teeth, do some of my skincare first to kind of let that penetrate and then I'll do my rinse and then I'll put my styling product in. And I have been really liking it. I think it makes my hair really shiny, really soft. Um, it's not greasy. It's not tacky feeling. It just feels really good. I really like it. I would almost say that I possibly could like it even better than the Kerastase hair oil that I like. But I think the Kerastase probably has a little bit more um, treatment benefits, whereas this one is just more um, moisturizing. I know a lot of people talk about the Moroccan oil. I don't like that. I've tried the regular, I've tried the light. I, I, my hair does not like that Moroccan oil and it doesn't like the Gavi oil. And there is another one that a lot of people use um, that I can't use. But anyway, so far my hair has been liking this one. So I put that in a weekly well. Okay, now we have a lip product, and this was a deluxe size sample that I got at Sephora with you know, a point perk a while back. But anyway, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. These are around $16. I am wearing it. I, pro I actually wear this in a lot of videos um, because it's just so easy to put on. I don't have to worry about it doing too much migrating while I'm talking, probably here in the corners like everything and I know I have some videos where I really needed to do that to clear up those corners but you know what do you do I can't see it up there I can't see it in the computer monitor that I'm using I had a mirror set in here but I I never looked at it so I, I put it back over there but anyway this this oh my stars this is so nice i like the formula it's very creamy it's not drying um, it has some opacity to it so it's not just a sheer gloss and this is in the color saint tropez which is a um, rose gold i mean it is just so doggone pretty i have just been loving this i keep it in my purse and you know i may start out the day with a complete different lip on, but when I have to reapply, this is why I pull out to reapply. I love it. I think it goes with a lot of eye looks that I wear, so it doesn't really matter what eyeshadows or blushes I have on. I think it really kind of um, goes with it. It has a little bit of a vanilla scent to it, and well actually a lot of vanilla scent but you can wear it alone you can wear it topped over a lip liner or another um, lipstick but i think i think personally i think it wears best by itself i think it is pretty enough and has enough color payoff that it doesn't need to go on top of anything else you just wear it like this your lips look really pretty it's a really pretty color and it's just really easy to just put it on the doe, doe foot is kind of a flat doe foot, so it's a little bit easier to apply onto the lips according to their um, verbiage on the Sephora website. I don't know if I really believe that or not, um, but anyway, it's a nice doe foot. It's not too hard to work with. But yes, I have just been enjoying this. This is probably something I've been using all summer long and have just been really liking that. I've been meaning to talk about it in a favorites and I, I just kept putting it off for some reason. Anyway. I actually was going to get some more colors of this because I liked the formula so much, but when I went in to look, I didn't really see a color. I was really wanting a red, and I didn't really see a red that I liked, and I would look, and I was like, oh, this color is really pretty, and i pull it out, and it would be this color, the Saint Tropez, so if you're checking these out, I really recommend the Saint Tropez. It's really pretty. Okay, the last 
Uh, weekly Wow I have to talk about is a show that I've been watching on HBO and um, it's called Sharp Objects and it has Amy Adams in it. Oh my goodness, it's got, let's see, last night was it's on season one, last night, it's on Sunday nights at it's eight o'clock, I think is when the new episode is. I've been watching on HBO Go. So I'll watch the new episode tonight. But um, last night was episode eight, and I cannot wait to watch it. But anyway, basically, it is based off of a book. Uh, let's see, where are my notes at on this one? Da, 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 Julian Flynn. And um, this Amy Adams is a reporter that lives in Chicago. And in her hometown of Wind Gap, Missouri, there's been... Um, two girls have gone missing. One has been killed and the other one is missing. And so her boss sends her back to her hometown to cover the story. And as she's going back, you know, to her hometown, um, she starts all these things that's happened to her in the past. Her um, younger sister, when, the, when she was a young girl, had passed away. And just all of these different psychological problems that she had growing up that she's dealt with as an adult plus trying to do the, the story and um, trying to deal with her mother her mother is a psychopath i swear she is but anyway um very good a very very good show um definitely watch it when you can devote your entire attention to it because it's one of those shows that it goes from the present and then she'll do flashbacks to the past and then back and you, you got to pay attention to follow along in the first few the first two episodes you know they're trying to build the, the story and everything and you're you almost kind of feel like you're just like totally lost but as you start watching it more and start getting into it more and more things are being revealed you're thinking oh my gosh okay oh wow oh no what 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 <laughs> so anyway i really do recommend it again it's called sharp objects um by um has amy adams in it and then it's based off the book that was written by jillian flynn so i may have to read the book and see how different the the show was based on the book i don't know how many episodes are going to be in it and I'm pretty sure it's probably just going to be like a one season series, but it was it's good. I, I do recommend it. All right. Well, that's it for this week's Weekly Wows. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. 